with Prota structures, you can design and detail your, your reinforced concrete structures. Prota structures is one of the best stru um, structural design software for reinforced concrete. It's, it also add on you know, for design of steel structure, but basically I, I prefer using Prota when it comes to reinforced concrete. Okay, it gives you the best calculation sheet. I have more often than not compared their design outcome with uh, Excel spreadsheet and likewise GitHub's and Robot and Tecla. You know, their results are actually very similar. You know, I, I really, really like using Prota structures. So let's see what this software has done for us in this particular building. So the first thing I will have to check, um, I would like to go through my load decomposition. So for that to be done, I'll actually come up here to story menu and then I like to have this here. Come to story one, then I'll have load decomposition. The software is actually going to break down all the loads in the structure down to the foundation for me to see the outcome. So I'll just do it again. It's already there in the program. So I'm, I'm going to run another one so that we can update the, the load outcome. Okay, you can see how fast that was. So, I will actually now after um load combination, I will actually like to, you know, run analysis for for my design. So, from building analysis, I'll come to building analysis. Uh, I've already done all my parameter setting. You know, I've actually done all my setting. So, I just want to see what I just want to show you how good and how fast Prota is in design of the first concrete structures or building. Okay, the design has finished running the analysis and it's about to give me a skeletal output or outcome of what we have. So with this interface here, I can actually quit this. With this interface here, we can actually see the total axial load acting on the foundation of the building. So we have 700 and, uh, 761 kilonewton here from the roof to the foundation. We have 901 kilonewton here. Okay, we have... Um, we have 1,261 kilonewton, 1,177 kilonewton, okay, from the roof to the foundation. So you see 700 here, you have 217 here, you have 300. And so uh, we can, we, we put that structure, we can also uh, view moment on columns, shear forces, you know, torsion, for example, shear forces on beam. Okay, these are the shear forces acting on this beam, 92.228 kilonewton. Okay, so we get uh, moments. For example, we have moments here on this column. We have moments of 2.5 kilonewton per, per meter. So we also have um, bending moments for beams. Yeah, a, a primary beam carrying another beam. So we have 214 kilonewton. So we have, you know, for the cantilevers here carrying the, or the other floors, we have about 314, 344 kilonewton meter. Okay, for this beam here. I can show my detail okay uh, if i want to view it uh, if i want to select if you want to view a single member alone i can actually do it okay so this 138 kilonewton meter okay so at our studio what we do we use you know different numerous softwares you can also you know give us a software of your choice the one you're familiar with so we'll use it to design your structures so for example let's see what moment we have here okay so we have 355 kilonewton meter okay so the depth of this beam has to be at least 900 millimeter depth so that it can be able to you know carry the loads from 
uh, fourth floor today, first floor. So um, we proceed to design the foundation. You can see that um, what we have here, we have um, a raft foundation here. So because of the kind of load we're having, we consider, and also the soil bearing capacity, which is very less, we consider that um, raft foundation will be more economical you know, than the part footing. Uh, okay, so because our soil bearing capacity was less than about about 50 kilo newton per meter square, so uh, we had to find a, an another alternative apart from the part foundation design. So let's see what we did. Okay, what we did, we here is what we did. So we Okay, in the studio while we designed this structure it was actually uh, very challenging for us i want to show you how we designed the foundation so coming here to uh, view display so we can actually see the member we have actually designed visual interrogation so we can actually check in uh, designed uh, status okay so what we are going to do now is that we are going to come here to uh, design okay so we are going to come into design and then we see this story beam which has already been designed uh, foundation beams have, has not been designed so we are going to design the foundation beam first so we are going to batch and reselect all bars so if i open here you see that it has been designed okay so you know we are going to come here to um raft foundation design so, okay, let us interrogate our finite, uh, uh, finite element analysis for the raft foundation Okay, this is the rough foundation floor analysis and then what do we have here let's see our results so you see that at, at this point we have 828 kilonewton act axial load acting on the foundation let us interrogate the structure um let us also look at the moments the bending moments the global bending moments okay so that's actually my new this is oh we, we can actually design foundation slabs by coming here the section of the slabs is insufficient 150 is actually insufficient as 30 150 millimeter depth of slab is insufficient so we can solve that problem by increasing the depth of the slab so you can actually view um, the bending moment diagram with protar structure we can also view the detail uh, section this design detail you, you can actually view the section 2y16 2y20 at this place you can provide 4y16 it will be safe you can also view your detailing so when you send us a message you tell us the kind of software you want us to use or the software you are familiar with but if you ask us to choose a software for our design we are going to choose a better software that will solve you know the you know the basic problem you have in your environment please go ahead and then send us a message at www housey.com and when you get there you are going to see you know housey architecture you are going to see housey engineering so you send us a message based on what you want us the problem you want us to solve for you i wait to receiving your messages i you know to work with you thank you very much for giving opportunity to share with you what we do in our studio